Hey there guys, what's happening? My name is Chatterack and welcome back to Will You Press The Button? Alright, first question, you can jump extremely high, but you age twice faster than everyone else. You age twice faster than everyone else. So does that mean like, it only takes me like half a year to become two, or does that mean like, in a full year, Instead of being like from one to two, I would be one to three. Cause being able to jump high would be kind of neat, but I'm not really into that kind of stuff, so I'm gonna say no. And apparently, a lot of people did not. So worked out pretty well. Like I feel like if I was like into like Olympics and stuff like that, it'd be cool. But hey, okay, you can enter the Pokemon world. Oh, here we go. One of my favorite subjects, and cross between it and it and your world forever. But you must travel with Ash. I'm going to push that button, because honestly, like, he gets himself into some cool shit. I mean, a lot, I mean, he ends up meeting a lot of the legendary Pokemon and things like that. So, I mean, I'd always be better than him, because he never fucking wins anything half the time. Like, he always does well with the gym badges, but then when it comes to, like, the real things, there's always someone else that's beating him. So, I, I, I wouldn't mind doing that, actually. It, it, that's fine. I, I, I just read something someone had said in the comments. <laughs> they were like, what's wrong with, uh, what's wrong with traveling with a bag of ash? <laughs> It's also a good point. <laughs> That's what I like about these games. Is you can always like kind of like take everything with like a grain of salt. <laughs> you become a guard of any faction in any fictional universe of your choosing, but you take an arrow to the knee. <laughs> um, I will push that button as well because if I think if I do anything with sci-fi and armor, odds are the knee uh, the arrow is not going to affect my knee at all. Or what if my arrow is made of knees? Or my knee is made of arrows. <laughs> that was dumb. I, I'm gonna push that button. That's like the greatest meme ever, too, by the way. <laughs> I used to be an adventurer like you, till I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> you will end world hunger. I like how this sounds, but you will never be able to eat your favorite foods again. Just the boring ones. The greater good of me inside wants me to say to end world hunger, because of, of course it is a, it's an incredibly horrible thing, but to be able to eat my favorite food. Now what counts as favorite food? Because like, what some of my favorite foods are very common and very trite foods. Like I love chicken tenders, I like pizza, you know. But I think you could argue sometimes that those can be boring. So I don't know what what's that what that is about. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna push this button. I'm sorry. I, people are gonna think I'm a horrible person. So it's like, but I really feel like you know, I I probably could have pushed it because again, some of my favorite foods I think are boring. But who knows? You receive five hundred thousand dollars every year for life, but once a year at random, you are kidnapped for a week. Is it like a good kidnap or a bad kidnap? And if it happens every year, should, wouldn't I be able to get around it eventually? I mean, five hundred thousand dollars, and and being that it's every year for my life, kind of seems like nothing bad would happen. Uh, let's push it. Fuck it. <laughs> we'll do it. A lot of people press the button, so I guess that makes me feel better. You become your favorite character in Game of Thrones, but you die in the next episode. Uh, I'm gonna hit no because I have never watched the show. Surprisingly enough, <laughs> um, I really want. To, I really wanted to watch it. I, I watched the very first season the day the show came out, and I, I, I my buddy got. It was like, oh, how did it go? It was like the day it came out. It was like right. Or, like it was pretty much like within the first season. A buddy of mine happened to. He found um, all the all the all the episodes of season one. It was like, let's just watch them all in one night. So I was like, okay, cool. And we did it. And I fell asleep within like the second or third episode. It was just like, it was very slow and very boring to me. And of course, since then, it's it's really progressed and opened up like a lot of shows like that. So I have been meaning to do it, but now it's just like so far in. It's like, it would literally take me days just to catch up. So, and I, but I know enough to know that every character in that game or that yeah, game and that show dies anyway. So, uh, you know, it's just whatever. Moving on. You can teleport anywhere with your mind, but every time you teleport, you forget who you are. 
That'd be kind of cool in a way, though. Like, would I still know inherently how to teleport? Because that would be neat in a way of, like, you know, say you were, like, in trouble and you, like, had to teleport and then it was just, like, it was, like, this deep, deep story. It makes me think of The Witcher 3. And I, and I don't want to say, I mean, the game has been out for quite some time, but I, I don't want to talk about it in case there are those people that come across the channel that have not played the game. But it, it makes me think about a certain character in that game and how she, like, and at what, like, I think that'd be a cool story they could write for her, personally. Um, so I'm going to say, uh, I guess, hmm, I guess I don't want to do that, because I don't really want to teleport, honestly. I don't, it's not a thing I really want to do. Fix everything about what happened to you and the love of your life. But she and he forgets everything about you. This is a tough one because I, I've only in my in my own personal life there's only one person really that I've been able to say the L bomb to, um, and that was it, we, we and we only dated for like a year a year and a month actually, and. Um, I, 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 personally, I don't, I, I don't know what to think of this question, because if they are the love of my life, of course I would push the button no matter what. Um, and actually, he and she forgetting everything about you, I think to some people would actually be kind of charming. It'd be like, it'd be like 50 first dates, like, going through that all the time. But would this just be one time? Because in a way, it would be kind of charming, because it'd be like, you would get to experience like that spark all over again, like the reason why you fell in love for the, you know, the, the he slash she of your life to begin with. Um, for me, I'm gonna, I, I probably would say no, just because again, it's only happened one time to me, and that was a long time ago to begin with. So for me, I'm definitely not gonna press the button. But I feel like just the idea of it, it would actually be kind of cool in a way, like. I, 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 like, there's that part of me that w thinks it would suck, but at the same time, it would be interesting. And, it, and 50 First Dates was definitely the thing that came to mind. And I, mean, I see it here in the comments as well. <laughs> you may choose a superpower and use it at your will, but people will hunt you down by any cost till the end of the world. Well, that would make me feel cool because I'd be killing shit. So I would love, I'd love to do that. Uh, yeah, it would be awesome. <laughs> All animals trust you and like you unless you hurt them. Even mosquitoes and wasps will leave you alone. But non-vegan food makes you nauseous. Drop of a, a drop of milk in 10 pounds of food is enough to make you vomit after you take a single bite. I definitely am not pressing that button. I mean, I have I have a terror of flying insects that can hurt me. But I I I, I have to eat food. I cannot not eat food. That would be horrible. It'd be awful. You become a powerful legendary dragon, but you are the only dragon in the world and you lose all capacity to communicate with humans. Um... Like, am I permanently a dragon? Or can I, like, shapeshift into a dragon? I feel like I would just be become a dragon. Um, I love dragons, but I feel like in t today's modern world that would be horrible because you would have, like... Military trying to get you with like scientists and government probably things be a neat story. Don't get me wrong. It'd be really cool um, But I feel like I, I feel like no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to I don't want to be Captured you're crowned Emperor of the world, but you'll never fall in love again um, I, mean, I feel like there would be girls there to throw themselves at you or guys there to throw themselves at you, but It wouldn't be love. It would be pure just like hey, you're the Emperor of the world. Why, like how can I say no to you? And love is a big subject for me, so I I'm going to say no again, just because uh, love is a really, I, I think it's cool. I mean, it's a really, for storytelling, it's a great, great, great pillar of, you know, of, of just storytelling. It's an awesome theme, and it really is a powerful thing. Oh, I like this one. Get a death note, but your life will be reduced for 10 years. I'm pushing that button because I love that show. I really, really do like that show quite a bit. It's just, it's such a cool, if you haven't seen the show, it's a really neat premise. It's basically about this this kid, um, his name is Light, and he gets, he comes across this book, and it's called A Death Note. And basically, what you do with the book, with the, with the note, is that you open it up, and it's just a bunch of blank pages. And basically, you write someone's name, like, you'll write their full name, 
and then you will write exactly how they will, will die, and it, it, exactly what happens. And it gets into this great, great story of a of like another detective who like you don't know his name, and they're just constantly like bitter rivals, like pitting each other against you. Oh, it's, it's a really good show. I really like it a lot. I really want to read the manga too, because a lot of times when I like a, when I really like an anime, I always like to go back and figure out like how the manga works. Like the last show I did it for was actually Yu-Gi-Oh, because Yu-Gi-Oh is actually I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I really like every single like version of the of the show that comes out like you know like gx 5ds arc 5 uh zexel like i like all of them um but i went back and started reading the original manga written for the original Yu-Gi-Oh series and it's like a total like 360 for like at least for the beginning parts i i, I just I, I just finished like up to the end of duelist kingdom so it's like incredibly incredibly dark versus like what actually happened and it's really neat so i literally like seeing like how the adaptations go from manga to to uh to anime so it's like i'm just about i'm trying to finish naruto uh shippuden um so i really want to go back and read the mangas as well uh, just because i really like doing that but yeah death note's an awesome show I really, I, I recommend it a lot. So, you can talk to animals, but you will never understand the human language. How would that make any sense? I can talk to animals, but you will never understand the human language. That's some wild Thornberry shit right there. I mean, I think talking to humans is important, so I'm gonna, I guess I won't do that. Although it would be, I, I think animal communication would be a neat power. However, I, I... The, my problem with, with with animal communication power is that like, what if you come across an animal that's just a dick? Like he's just an asshole. He's a dick. No one likes him. Like he's just a jerk off. And then you talk to him and he's like, I don't give a I, like. I don't care if you're a human talking to me. Like fuck you. <laughs> you know, it's like ridiculous. But I, I do. I think I, I think the idea of it is neat though. All right, you have all of Superman's powers, but the one you love the most will constantly try to kill you. What is with the the theme of love today? Good lord. Of course, I mean, yeah, that would be that would be horrible. I don't I don't want to do that. Plus, Batman's a fucking badass. Team Batman for life, yo. Um, you're the most athletic person in the world, but you have ADD and memory loss. Well, again, I'm I'm not that person, so I don't want to press that button. I don't I don't really need to be athletic. Like, I I think it's important to stay healthy and stay in shape. Like me personally, I'm about to go and re reapply to the gym because I really need to work off some weight. Um, I've been I've been kind of fighting myself with like personal weight issues like I'm the, it's not at a hand nothing like that but I just I personally don't want it I, I don't want it to get to that point to where I can't go back in a, in a sense of the word so for me I really like it I, I think it's important to maintain like physical health but at the same time I'm not an athlete like I, I played I, I played tennis in high school um, and that's about it that's all I really did um, my grandfather always wanted me to play football, and I always wanted to try playing baseball because I actually really liked baseball. But the school I went to didn't offer those kinds of programs, so I wasn't able to do so. But all right, we'll do a couple more, and by a couple I mean two. <laughs> you get to live with your favorite band member, Serge Tankian, but your favorite band breaks up, and again they do that all the time in System of a Down, so I'm pushing that button anyway. <laughs> all right, last question: Dairy Queen starts selling pizza. Yay! Dairy Queen's pizza is so delicious, it sends Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Domino's, Papa Murphy's, Little Caesars, CeCe's Pizza, DiGiorno, and all the other pizza companies out of business. Well, I'm going to have to say no. And the reason I'm going to have to say no, it's something I've kind of avoided talking about on the channel for a while, because I don't like the idea of, like, the element shifting, but my favorite, 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 all-time favorite ice hockey team in the, in the National Hockey League are the Detroit Red Wings. They're my absolute favorite. I've been watching them for years, and I, they, they got they really got me into the sport, and I really liked the team a lot. I like, like the players themselves on the team a lot, the coaches, the staff. But the owners of the Red Wings, the, the, the family that owns them also owns Little Caesars. So, like, I, went to, I was able to go to a game um, a few years ago in Detroit, and it was awesome. I had such a great time. I was there for one of my best friend's birthday parties. Um, well, not really parties, but we, we went to Detroit for like a day and a half. And inside the arena, you literally couldn't be anywhere in the arena and not see a Little Caesars stand. It was great. It was really, really cool. But, all right. I think this was a good little, little run today of Will You Press the Button. I really like these games a lot. I, I say it all the time. 
I just like the questions that people come up with, especially because like it's it's again it's sort of like the Happy Wheels treatment where people just post 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 different questions, so it's like they're constantly getting new questions. Particularly if you log in, I think when you log in, it keeps a it keeps a memory of like questions you've already answered. I'm not really totally sure with that. I know I know it did get an update. Um, it's more for people that comment. I don't really get into the comments. But um, you can also personalize, personalize your, your experience with avatars, like it's, it's said on the screen this whole time. Um, so that's kind of cool. I, I don't really, I don't really do that, do it because I only, I, I only really get on the, the like this often when I'm doing stuff for the channel. Like sometimes I'll do it on my phone, at, like if I'm at work or something, and it's just like I'm bored out of my mind. But I really like this game. So thank you guys so much again for watching this episode of Will You Press the Button. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.